Welcome. Yeah, so when x here is equal to 1, then this limit is equal to e to the first or e. And um, I do a proof of that case uh, in a couple of different ways, one of which uses the squeeze theorem. So I'll link those two videos below this. But yeah, this is an important variety of that. And there's one more important variety that you should learn. So yeah, here we are. Um, all right, uh, we know what we have to do here. So let's get on with it. To start, uh, let's let y equal um, 1, plus, uh, 1, 1 plus x over n uh, to the power n, right? OK. Then taking the natural log of both sides of this, so y is like this here, right? But yeah, taking the natural log of both sides of this, we could write the natural log of y uh, is equal to, it's equal to um, uh, the natural log of the natural log of one plus um, x over n to the power n, right? But uh, instead of writing an n there, the log rules allow us to write the n right there, right? And furthermore, multiplying by this n here is the same as dividing by 1 over n. And I prefer to think of it in this latter way, dividing by 1 over n, because, um, yeah, it will suit our purpose here. OK, Ugh. see, this is why I switched to a chalkboard. It's more precise writing. Anyway, anyway, uh, once here, we take the limit as n goes to infinity here. So that means. We have to write lim as n goes to infinity over here also. So lim, uh, lim as n goes to infinity, right? OK. And what's this limit here? Well, as n goes to infinity, x over n is going to go to 0, right? Um, and because of that, uh, the numerator here is going to go to the natural log of 1. But we recall that the natural log of 1 is 0. So we get 0 over, as n goes to infinity, 1 over n is going to go to 0. So we get 0 over 0, right? So 0 over 0. This is an indeterminate form, uh, which allows us to use L'Hopital's rule. And I have uh, several videos on L'Hopital's rule where I show you all the indeterminate forms. So um, yeah, you can check those out. But yeah, uh, continuing. Um, what L'Hopital's rule tells us is that we could do limit as n goes to infinity of the derivative of this numerator divided by the derivative of this denominator. We do individual derivatives of numerator and denominator, not as a whole quotient. Yeah, so uh, derivative of the numerator is going to be uh, 1 divided by, right, 1 divided by um, 1 divided by. Uh, 1 plus x over n, but we're not done, right? The derivative of the natural log is 1 over whatever is inside it, and that's this. But then here we have to multiply by the derivative of that, which is required by chain rule, right? OK, so the derivative of 1 is 0. Uh, and the derivative of x over n, well, remember, x over n is the same as x times 1 over n. So the derivative of x over n, or x times 1 over n, is going to be um, x times uh, negative 1 over n squared. The reason being that um, since here uh, we're viewing this as a function of n, so as y of n, x is treated like a constant. And that's why we leave the x alone and just do the derivative of 1 over n, yeah? OK, all right, now in the interest of time oh didn't mean to rotate you but yeah in the interest of time let's write that right there yeah okay and so now all of this is a derivative of that there and uh, we don't need this it's kind of distracting me so let's get rid of it all right um but yeah now we're done with uh, the derivative of uh, the numerator so we have to do this divided by the derivative of the denominator but we just talked about the derivative of uh, 1 over n, it's uh, negative 1 over n squared, right? So um, I'll write it in parentheses so it's abundantly clear that it's the same as this here, right? Because uh, what I'm going to do next is fairly clear, which is I'm going to cancel these guys. Now, as n goes to infinity, what's going to happen to this, uh, which is the only thing remaining, right? 
uh, well, as n goes to infinity, this again goes to 0, right? So we get 1 over 1 plus 0 times x, which is 1 over 1 times x. So we just get x. Ah, cool. So we get that this is equal to x. But wait, how did we get here? Well, this here is the same as this here, which in turn is the same as this here. And therefore, this here is the same as this here. Ah, I get it. So we could do this then. Um, we could get rid of this and in place of it, right? Uh, lim is n goes to infinity of the natural log of y. Yeah? But wait, wait, the limit rules say that instead of this, we could write, um, we could write the natural log of lim is n goes to infinity of y. Yeah? Okay, why this here is the same as this here, but this here is the same as this here. So this here is the same as this here. Okay, all right, am I clowning too much? No, not really. I'm teaching you. Behave. No clown. Teaching you. Kind of having fun though. There's gotta be something fun in, in this for me. It's definitely not doing, it's definitely not doing boring limits. Okay. Um. All right, this is not boring. Well, it's the end, so I can tell you it's boring. What are you going to do about it? If you've come this far, you've come this far. Okay, <laughs> no, I'm messing with you. All right, so um, now I could do this, right? Oh, wait, so that means the limit is n goes to infinity of y is e to the x. But wait, why is this? And therefore, we're saying, in saying this, the limit is n goes to infinity of that. So that's this here which is e to the x. So done. Yeah? Okay, cool. All right. I'll show you the other variety, which is a tad bit tricky. Uh, but yeah, um, keep watching. I hope you enjoy this. Take care.